Hello everyone, and welcome back to another week of Biting Piranhas. If it's your first time here, what we generally do is go through all the number ones and significant issues I can think of, along with any new or interesting trades I have on the shelf. Starting off with Marvel, Savage Avengers number two. First issue was really interesting of this. I do like that they're embracing the campy nature of Conan a little bit. Also, my boy Black Knight's in it. Come on, man. Fortnite Marvel Zero War. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. This one does in fact come with a code, just like its DC counterpart. So you do get in-game content with it. It's written by the same writer as Batman Fortnite Zero Point. So if you enjoyed that, give this one a while as well. Legion of X number two. The follow-up to Way of X. Really, really enjoying their idea of, I guess, justice for Krakoa. It's almost like they're a police force for a way of life, as opposed to anything else. Really, really interesting. Star Wars Tales, you know what, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Following the Wookiee from Book of Boba Fett and Kieran Gillen's unique run on Star Wars comics, this bounty hunter's badass and he's well worth your time. Jane Foster and the Mighty Thor, number one. It's a five-issue mini. We can all guess why that's coming out. I'm actually really excited for the new movie, and I'm very, very happy to see Jane Foster back as Thor. I have enjoyed her as Valkyrie, but she's never been better than when she's been Thor. Kicking into DC now, Aquaman Andromeda, number one. Do you need me to say anything else? Christian Ward is doing the art for it, so it's an absolutely beautiful book. Ram... Ram V? Ram 5? Ram. Ram is writing it. Uh, if you've been reading his run on the Swamp Thing, you know that he does horror very, very well. This looks to be a deep sea horror book, and I'm very, very into that. Dark Crisis number one. Oh god, there's another crisis. So following on from the death of the Justice League in Justice League 75, this is what's happening after that. The legacy heroes have all created their own Justice League, essentially, and so far it's been a lot of fun. If you read Road to Dark Crisis, you, you know what you're in for, essentially. Also, variants. This isn't a Nightwing issue, but it is now. On that note, if you missed out on Justice League 75, we do have a second printing of it here, so you can catch up fully, just in time for Dark Crisis. Nubia, Queen of the Amazons, number one. It's just a four-issue miniseries. Following on from the trial of the Amazons, this will be followed up by a Wonder Girl annual as well. Hopefully that sees a resurgence for her series. I'd be very happy about that. If you're a fan of the Amazons in any way, shape, or form, give this a shout. Poison Ivy, number one. I do like that they made Poison just that little bit bigger, just I feel like it's a personal vendetta by DC to get Poison by Alice Cooper stuck in my head. Please don't copyright claim me for using the title YouTube. Ivy hasn't had her own series in a little while, so this makes me very excited for the future of the character. I do enjoy her and Harley's escapades, so let's see where this leads. Hopefully to a Harleen sequel focused on Ivy, please DC! DC Pride, number one, one shot. If you read last year's, you know what this is all about. Some really interesting creators on it this year. Quite excited to read this, honestly. From Aftershock, Astronaut Down, number one. You probably get an idea what it's about all from the cover, to be honest. This issue is titled, Did I Overcook the Chicken? And frankly, I'm very excited to find out what, what that means. <laughs> and last, but by no means least, Lion and the Eagle, number four. This is the last part of the Lion and the Eagle. If you've been collecting this, this is the last part. A really interesting take on the war story, just British commandos stuck in Burma. Garth Ennis does very little wrong by me. I very much enjoy the majority of what he does, and this was no exception, I really enjoyed this. So, just for trade paperbacks I have out on the shelf. Thor, God of Thunder, God Butcher Omnibus. This does the first two volumes of God of Thunder, which is where you can, you can see that gore is introduced here. Catch up on this just before you watch the new movie and you'll have a really good idea of who Gore is. Something else you need to catch up on before the new movie, Jane Foster Thor. When this was coming out, I absolutely loved this. Russell Dortmund on the art, Jason Aaron writing it. You can't, you honestly can't go wrong. With the exciting, well, not exciting, incredibly dark twist to her character, this book's pretty incredible on so many different levels. And once again, for everyone in the back, Russell Dortmund, everybody. We love you out here. This book does her entire initial arc. It doesn't cover the Marvel Legacy stuff from her, but it does everything else, which is what they're basing the new movie on. This and God Butcher Omnibus, both very much worth your time if you want to enjoy the new movie to its full extent. For those of you who read Shadow War and went, what, Robin was in a death tournament? This is for you. This volume covers him entering the Lazarus tournament. Some really interesting characters are introduced, some that 
affect DC law a lot more than I thought they would. It's just a really interesting read, honestly. It's nice to see Damien strike out on his own. And from the independent side of things, crossover volume two. The first volume is explosive action, and this one is more of the theme of the crossover, I suppose. There's lots of guest artists and authors. There's lots of literally guest artists and authors in here. It still plays with the idea of comic creators and comic characters coming to life very, very well. If you're a fan of anything to do with Image, this book is essentially a love letter to Image Comics as a whole, so it's well worth your time. That's all from me this week. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you've seen, like and subscribe so we know to continue to do more. Thanks, guys. Piranha, 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 piranha.